Okay, now here's the um, the software, WinPlot. To download it, you can click on it and click download WinPlot.exe. And once that gets down done downloading, you could um, you can move it to a different folder if you want. Uh, you can right click on it, say show in folder. Now here I'm going to uh, copy this, so I'll do an edit, cut. I right clicked on that and did a cut. Then I'm going to go over to the folder I want to store it. Let's store it right here. I'll right click here and choose paste. And now if I double click that, then I can click run. And this is your graphing program. Now if I do window two dimensions, it comes up with uh, this. I can do my page up and page down to zoom in, zoom out. And it's probably not a bad idea to have it go roughly from negative 10 to 10 on your x and y axis. Now to graph an equation, you choose equation and explicit. That means it's solved for y. So if I want to graph y is equal to x squared plus 3. How I do the squared is the caret 2. Caret is how you do the exponent in this package. And then I click OK and that gives me my uh, graph. I'm going to click uh, delete on that. I'll choose equation, explicit. And you see it's F1 if you want to do that. Now if I want to graph uh, x to the third minus uh, 4x squared plus uh, 2x minus 7. Notice how for all the powers I did the caret. So x to the third minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 7. And click OK. OK. Now the square root. If I do uh, um, equation, explicit, and um, square root of x minus 3. Now notice I put SQRT, beginning parentheses, x minus 3, closing parentheses. Okay. And that gives me my square root. Let me delete that. Choose equation. Uh, choose explicit. And um, absolute value. ABS, x minus 1. So ABS, beginning parentheses, x minus 1, closing parentheses. And click OK. Not the most user friendly for you to use, but uh, let me delete that. Now there's um, miscellaneous up here, and here's inventory. And I thought that would be okay. I'm looking someplace else. So Let me see. Um, miscellaneous. There it is. Um, equation library. So if you're wondering how to do something, this is how you how you do it. Like I wanted to show you the cube root, but I didn't know how to do it. Well, here it tells me I do root. And then I put in 3, comma, and then whatever I'm working with. I can move this over the side if I wanted to. So I choose equation, choose explicit, for the cube root. Looks like I'll do a root, um, beginning parentheses, 3 for the index, comma, and um, let's do x minus 1. And click OK. And that's my cube root. <clears throat> See what other ones there are here. The absolute value we already looked at. Um, those are probably the main ones. Now let's say I want to graph something that's not in the form of uh, y equals. Let me delete this. If I choose equation and instead choose implicit. Like later on we'll talk about circles. And If I want to graph a circle, I can do x squared plus y squared equals 25. This should be a circle with a radius of 5. If I click OK, that gives me my graph. Okay, so this is how you can you can graph using this uh, tool. It'll make your life a lot easier if you explore this package and get used to it uh, for this class. Now, if I want to copy this and turn it in as an assignment, I can choose File, and you see Bitmap to Clipboard. So I'll choose Bitmap to Clipboard. 
and then I go over into a Word document and I could put uh, like this is maybe my first problem in this assignment and I could choose a paste now it'll come in kind of large and you can click this one time and uh, then with your left mouse button click and drag this to make it smaller if you want I don't mind if you turn it in larger like that um, but then you'd be ready for your next one so if I wanted to graph something I click delete choose equation implicit and let's say I want to graph y squared plus 3x equals 7y minus 2 assuming it appears on our screen here click OK and I get that then I choose file and then bitmap to clipboard and come over to my Word document and this may be my second one I'm turning in so I'll paste it and I could uh, again make it a little bit smaller now you'd save this Word document and this is what you'd turn in for your assignment so that's how you can use Winplot uh, to do the graphing um, portion of this, uh, this course